I've played Rust console for the last two years and decided it was finally time to take up the challenge of playing a solo Rust wipe on PC. Now when I decide to do something, I do it properly. So I put myself to the test on an official Rust server with a maximum population of 400 players. I knew this wouldn't be easy. And that was an understatement. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this is gonna be freaking nuts. Alright, so... Oh my god, there's so many bodies. I don't really know exactly where I'm gonna try and build. I think we'll go... I do like the snow. Oxums. The ore rig. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna be doing ore rig, let's be honest. <laughs> I feel like sewer might be nice. Like, in the middle there. We've got the train, train tunnels, sewer, oxums. It's gonna be busy. But I kinda like, I kinda like that spot. So yeah, we're just going to see how we go today. Like, I'm expecting to get absolutely destroyed, but you never know. This is Rustified main, Rustified AU main server. There's 400 people and there's like a queue of 250 or something. So it's going to be nuts. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely nuts. Being a proper PC noob, I quickly worked out that my mic wasn't working. And by the time I sorted it out, it was nighttime in game. I finally got my mic working, dude. As you can see, it took me a long time. It's already night time. So I'm going to be running to the snow in the freaking pitch black, freezing cold. Hey, but at least I can talk to people now. How you doing, bro? Alright, let's continue. If I can just get a bag down, that's really all I want right now. Get a bag near the snow. Ah. Uh. Hey, come on, man. Get away from my campfire, man. Can't lose my tang cloth. What's up, bro? I actually don't know what to do. I literally just want some cloth. That's all I want, but there's nothing. Ooh. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go, dude. I'm gonna go as far as I can before I'm just about to die, and then I'm gonna put this bag down. The reason I want to build in the snow is because I feel like there'll be less people there. There'll be some bigger, like, bigger groups, most likely, but I think that if I'm just getting swarmed by, like, two, three, four mans, it's gonna be very hard for me. I think the less players around me, the better. I think we chuck the bag down here because I don't want to die. I'm literally just about to die from the cold. <laughs> hey, fuck you, man. Well, okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be hard, dude. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Hello. I think if I can just get a few bags down around that area. That's probably the way to go. I think that by the looks of it, even like Oxums, there's probably going to be massive clan right there, to be honest. So we're going to have to find somewhere that's a little bit hidden, a little bit hidden away. Uh, do the animals not move? I'm cool with that. Oh shit. Good. You're telling me someone's chopped my bag? Someone's already chopped my bag? 
Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what the f- What the f- Why? <sighs> oh man. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I just spawned, bros. I just spawned, bros. Didn't want to spawn there anyway. Console wipe tomorrow morning is looking pretty good right now. <laughs> nah, we're going to persist. We're going to persist. I'm going to get a, a two by one down. It's going to be the best two by one ever made. Surely this works. Okay. Almost have enough for a bow. Maybe I should just invest in a bow rather than bags. We have our first weapon of the way. It only took us an hour. Or longer, not sure. Man, all these like PC YouTubers make this look so easy. Maybe they die once? Oh yeah. Having a rough start. Thanks, dude. No way, we just won that. Come on. I mean, I definitely shouldn't have won it. Definitely should not have won that. <laughs> he always... He came to chop me too. Get a little recycle in here. bow maybe so I was gonna do like a pixel gap TC but to be honest I don't know like by the time I get to my build location I'm not sure that I'm gonna have the patience to uh, put down a pixel gap I don't even have the resources to put down a TC yet to put down a build yet like got a little bit of stone let's do a quick farm Alright, this is it. We're building here. Fuck it. I need to make myself a cup of tea. I died countless times already, but this one definitely stung a little. The silver lining though, was that I now had a respawn point, a sleeping bag that hadn't been chopped, and it was close to where I wanted to put my base down. That's the road. Jesus.
Hmm, gonna die from cold again. Hey. Hey. That's that's rude. <laughs> this next life, this was the one. Okay. Man, it is not even that long into white. It's insane. Ooh, what about this little spot? Maybe here. Yeah, I like it. Still a bit further away from that shooting too. Over the next 20 minutes, after dying from cold a couple times, naturally, I finally built up enough farm to put down something to call home. It was an achievement for sure. I really hope that works. <laughs> if, that, if that pixel gap doesn't work. I swear to god. Ah, he's got a base. We've got a base. It's only two hours in. That's pretty good, really. Two hours in, easy. Eight hours of upkeep. There's plenty of time to work out if this works. Although, should I? That's probably a smarter move for now. So, next order of business is getting stoning up the base and getting an airlock and getting some low grade so we can start getting some furnaces cooking. that and face the other way. Yeah, let's do a little bit of expanding. Such a noob. So we're going to put down a small box and a campfire. And then I think we'll just respawn at my sleeping bag. And maybe try and hit a few comps and get enough low grade for a furnace. I really need to get a new another sleeping bag though because if someone chops this one I'm toast. I think we head to Oxum's. I feel your pain bro. rocket <laughs> that's a rocket already man that's a base it was a freaking monument well i guess they're controlling uh outpost uh, wonder if i can loot it real quick It's 
recycled. Um, <laughs> that's like between me and my base. I might actually just stash here. Chances they left anything on those bodies. I think pretty, pretty minimal. Well, I'm glad that I didn't try and uh, run that loot back to base. That's for sure. So, like, I'm gonna get comps around here eventually. I just don't know where I'm gonna recycle. Do you reckon I can kill a polar bear with a rock since the animals are not moving at the moment? It was kind of cheap, but I gotta take every every possible win that I can get right now. It's a furnace. Let's go. It was good. It was good. I even have enough for a furnace. Let's go, dude. Since it was nighttime and I had minimal clothing to stop me from freezing to death. I waited out the night by the warmth of my campfire and jumped off to make myself some much needed coffee. The plan when I returned would be to expand the base and farm some comps with the aim of getting to a tier 2 workbench today. Since I had no blueprints, tech treeing down to garage door or a tier 2 weapon was the dream. But with the way that this wipe had started out for me, that's literally all it was at this stage. Must be almost daytime. There's no way to check the time, hey. Man, we gotta see like, so nice on console. I should really, when I die, I think I'm gonna spawn at my mining bag. What's the sheet metal door go for these days? Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Man, I need those comps. What I really need is a sleeping bag inside my base. Okay. Ooh. That's even better. That's even better. I got building proof here, so I could put like a shoddy trap there or something. <laughs> Might not be a bad idea. I think what we have to do, to be honest, is focus on upgrading the base. It'd be really nice if I could get like the roof bunker sorted tonight before I log off, but I'm quite a way away from that still, I think. And Sue is actually looking pretty good right now. I'm gonna depot this, um, this little farm and then come back. See if uh, mining's been looted. And then potentially I might even try and grab my stash and run it home while it's night time. That feels a bit better. I think my sense was too high. Now it might be too low. Not sure. <laughs> oh man, I really want to get this home. Damn, 120 scrap. Got a decent run though. This is bait. I think this might be bait.
literally every time I spawn here, there's there's crates here. It's crazy. trap. wonder if I can get in. should really have a look. Um, I try and do sewer just to jump up. I guess we take our compound though. <laughs> our only weapon. Because surprisingly it seemed kind of quiet there before, but I think that was likely just a coincidence. <laughs> Ooh, looks like there are crates up there, though. Where can I get a green card from? Oxums. Ooh, I do need med syringe, actually. Metal hatchet. Hell yeah. I think I have that blueprint actually, but I don't have a uh, tier one yet, so I can't make any. Let's recycle these med kits. Try and get this home. Man, I wish I built slightly closer. Like, it's not far, but it's kind of like not close either. Dude, I can't wait to get just like a savage pick. It's the little things as a solo. As a solo slash PC noob. Yeah, that's pretty good. 90 scrap. Good enough for a tier 1. Uh, if we do some wood chopping. Gonna get the electricity going. Feels nice not to be using a stone hatchet. Okay, should we get a tier one down? Ah oh, man, it's like I think I've been playing for about three hours, and we're finally crafting the tier one. Okay. Got my best kit on. Going out for Rome. See, so yeah, I got a few things on the tech tree. Not much. But, um... Yeah, earlier when I jumped on, I just found this body that had, like, 800 scrap on it. So I ran to Outpost <laughs> and researched as much as I could. So I got Satchel, DB, a few other bits and pieces. Ladder and metal tools are probably the most, like, useful things here, including the DB. I haven't got like bear rug and not much else, so yeah. Yeah, I would really like garage door. Hmm. But yeah, we need some stone. Stone and metal really is what I'm out for right now. Okay. Making a bit of progress now. I really need cloth, like really bad. So we're gonna head back to sewer. I'm just gonna try and get lucky, you know? Cause the next step really for me is like, you know, obviously getting scrap, but trying to get some sort of weapon. He's got the slugs. Ah, oh, fuck that. They are together. I thought they were against each other. It would have been nice. Yeah, pumpy slug. That's, that's the meta right now, right? 
I get some cloth here, I might try and use this ladder to uh, get over their wall. Yeah, I just need some cloth. Yeah. All right, finally got a bit of cloth, which is nice. Damn, that cold is brutal. Um, and I lost my only warm clothing. So I think we're just going to be chilling. Chilling until the morning. Alright, so we'll check out sewer. And then I'm going to look at doing some base upgrades, I think. Try and get this uh, honeycomb down. Get the top layer of the base sorted. And like sealed in. Because currently, someone can just like go deep and take my furnace loot, <laughs> which isn't ideal. so bad at pvp <laughs> so bad at pvp i was like if he had a bow and a compound bow i didn't expect him to also have a db you know I'd like to try and get the pixel gap down, like for the bunker. I'll do that now, actually. Two, three, four, five, six. it works ah oh, thank god okay so i think what we're gonna do is get enough upkeep for the tc uh, i do want to make the base like symmetrical on the other side so it's not obvious what the design is and i really would like to at least put another layer on the roof so we just see how this farm run goes <laughs> <laughs> this is literally gunshots going off like every direction of me. I'm just running around naked with a pickaxe trying to find a bit of stone. Ah, 
Ah, oh, fuck me. At this stage, it was getting pretty late for me, but if I went to bed now, my base would decay by the time I logged back in. So I had no choice but to go out for another farm run on the look for stone. I can't even go to bed. <laughs> I go to bed, my base is gonna decay. Five hours, hell yeah, okay. Right, the moment of truth. Please let me loot this. Uh oh. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Let me loot it, please. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> no way, it doesn't work. I'll try it again tomorrow, but obviously I didn't want to grief myself. I uh, locking up the TC when I couldn't access it. I think it took me like two and a half hours or so to actually get a base down, which is insane. So after a bit of a struggle, a few small wins and a lot of deaths, I sealed the roof bunker and logged off for the night, hoping that the pain hadn't been all for nothing and that my little snow base might survive the first night. Bro, we actually survived? <laughs> Are you serious? Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I was not expecting to survive. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, oh, man, so good. So good. That changes everything. I was like preparing to have to restart, trying to think about where I'd put down a base again. Man, I, I'm interested to see if there's bases that are built up next to me or not. I would imagine there probably is, but you never know. We gotta get that home, that green card. Holy! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man, that was like a two by one yesterday when I ran past it. Oh no. Oh no, the bears are active again. <laughs> no. It's gonna be the real challenge today. See if I can kill a kill a bear when it's actually able to move and fight back. really sad that the uh, pixel gap doesn't work. I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't work. Can I actually try that just like one more time before we go too much further? It would be nice. Yes! Yes, it works. Hey, <laughs> hell yeah. I thought it was broken. 
Oh man, that makes the base so much, like, stronger. Alright, I need to get some water. And then we're going to go to a bit of a farm. And, uh, yeah, I think we got green card now, so we can, we can try and start doing sewer. And the plan is going to be to get a weapon of some variety. And I need to upgrade this base. I need to get our second second floor down. Ideally, I'll turn it into a compound, but we'll see. We'll just see. <laughs> one one thing at a time. Maybe crossy crossy pipey. Let's do that. That works. Okay, this is gonna go smoothly. I got a feeling. Blue card, maybe maybe some good scrap. We do really just need a bunch of cloth as well. Pretty much anything that we get from this would be really good. I think the battery is actually pretty good. There's no, uh, there's no electricity on console. Oh fuck. Go man, go, go, go. Oh, holy shit. Oh man. <laughs> this game is so much fucking harder on PC, dude. Ah, yes, that's actually, that's pretty good. Decent amount of scrap as well. While it is night time, let's work on some, uh, some heat and electricity for this little base. Ooh, <laughs> fuck yeah. I guess I need a soul panel or something. And I'm so happy that I finally decided to play a wipe on PC. I've literally been thinking about it for probably like almost 12 months. And the reason that I haven't done it for now is partly because recording is a whole different setup to what I do on console. So that whole process was going to be a bit of a pain to set up. But also, like, I just, you know, expected to get absolutely destroyed. Which has pretty much been the case, but, like, there's so much you can do in this game that doesn't involve being a PvP god. And, like, this has been so fun so far, so I'm really happy I finally did it. My frames are struggling for some reason. A little battery? Nice one. Two hundred and fifty scrap. Please let me get home. And the Revy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, uh, so good. So good. All right, we're almost at the tier two, so I can start crafting meds. Ah oh, man, 
I gotta do some loot organizing to chuck out some random shit. Kind of sad that they chopped my mining bag. That was pretty pretty useful for scrap. Man, look at all the farm up here. It's outrageous. Hey. Hey, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Hey! I said I'm friendly! I'm friendly, dude! Please! You son of a bitch. <laughs> that's what you get. That's what you get. Um, yeah, there's a lot of farm around here. 3,000 sulfur for a tier 2. Two computers for a tier 2 workbench. Do I have two laptops? Bro, that's actually worth it for me. Because auto turret is so far away. I'll just give it a crack. I legit have no way of healing up. I have no food. One med syringe. Without knowing it, this guy that killed me with the boa doxums clued me onto the fact that the compound to my north was selling a tier 2 workbench. At this stage of wipe, the only use I really had for laptops was to recycle them for scrap. So with crossy in hand and 52 health, I went over hoping for the best. I feel like this is a trap. <laughs> Fuck. I think it's worth a risk for me though. If I can get a free tier 2. Okay. Hey, bro. Hello? Can I, can I buy from your shop? You want to talk to me specifically? I'm just a little solo looking to try and get a tier two, you know? Here he is, hey man. Hey dudes, what's going what, on? What did you want, my guy? You guys got a shop somewhere? I'm, I'm trying to snag a tier two. Yeah, we do, we do. Uh, you got fucking uh, laptops, computers, or software in bulk? Yeah, bro. I got uh, I got two laptops for you. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah. Take us to your base. Oh, bring, I got a tier two actually. Oh fuck yeah. All right. Man, these guys are lads. <laughs> it really doesn't fuck me over. You want an escort? Back to your base, my guy. Uh, that's alright, man. I'm, that's alright, man. I'm pretty, I'm pretty close, like just up the hill there. So hopefully I should be able to get there. But I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. Good one, my brother. Yeah, you too. Please don't shoot me while I'm running away. <laughs> you want an escort to your base? What a fucking legend! Oh man, these guys were like top blokes. Ah oh, hell yeah, that's actually the best. Let's whack that. Whack that bad boy straight down. Nice. What I really want next is like a garage door. That would be huge. Let's get some organization up in here real quick. Nah. Tools and random stuff. My weapons box. <laughs>
okay. It's, it's pretty ugly right now, but <laughs> it's it's progress. We'll get there. <laughs> This is way too big. I'm gonna get raided. Come on, gotta go down. Just oh, darn it. Once I finished some base upgrades, morning came, so I decided to craft myself a revolver and see if I could snag a tier 2 weapon. Alright, let's see how quickly we can lose this Revy, shall we? Jesus. GG, brother. We can't hit to save our lives. Man. Yeah, man. I'm, hell. I'm pretty bad, too. Let's be honest. Uh, 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 deal, uh, deal. Can, we will not hit kill you if you just pick us up, bro. We we are desperate. Ah, uh, bros. You know I can't do that, bros. No, nah, come on, please, sir. Please. My leg. <laughs> oh, man. That was so bad, <laughs> but they were somehow worse. Holy shit. I don't know. I think I need to not spam the Revy like that. <laughs> oh man, that was not pretty. That was not pretty, that whole situation. <laughs> but somehow, we've come out alive and with all the loot. So that's pretty good. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Okay, while we're feeling good, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and we're gonna go run sewer. I don't think this guy knows that I've seen him.
How did he fall for that? <laughs> Come on, man. Finessed by a console pro, hey? <laughs> he was like, he was not suspicious at all. Like, he just saw me running that way and I was like, yep, he's gone. It's cool. It was nice to win a few fights, even if, like, the fights were won mainly because the other players were bad. <laughs> Still feels good to get a couple W's on the board. It's been a lot of L's this wipe so far. Which is, you know, to be expected. Let's go. Please let me get this home. Please. Uh, that guy's sad. He hit the jackpot and found a found a sire in a crate. Ah oh, man. So good. I'm running sire. I think I'm running sire. I think I've got a cool SAR skin as well. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Yeah, boy. It's got the garage door. So I guess we're really just farming anything, but mainly need stone and metal. Good to go, good to go. Fuck it. Quick! <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Holy. I had a Jackie too. Oh god, that's a lot of sulfur. <laughs> that's a lot of sulfur. Man, the side didn't feel too bad. Like, it was. I was kind of a potato, but... He was more of a potato. Did he even shoot at me? Oh man, that's huge. <laughs> yes. Oh, dude, so good. The old, uh, check that straight in the old research table. this game it's just like so chill uh, you can play it however you want you can play it like super stressful and uh you know try and do massive raids and stuff it's not really my style like i like a bit of pvp here and there but i think i prefer just to like chill build bases you know have some interactions here and there and yeah just like have a good time it's really my vibe 
Someone there. I think there was two of them too. come to take out the Tommy. They are geared, that's for sure. Should I try and fight them? <laughs> they try and fight them. Just for a laugh. Like I said, there's no point in me holding on to all this loot. Might as well get some use, like, get some use out of it. Because, like, if I can pick this hill, I might be able to kill, like, one of them. God damn, how do you get up there so fast? He <laughs> got there so fast. Okay, time for me to have a break. It is time for me to have a break though. I'm gonna go, go for a walk. After I try and kill this guy. Let's go. That's a completely different dude. Chance here. Holy shit, I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. Uh, I should have used the Tommy. I thought like that distance maybe the SAR was a better option, but probably should have used the Tommy in that situation. Uh, well, you gotta, you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Soon after that, I had to log off for the night. And the next morning when I logged in, Sadly, my base had been raided. To be honest, I hadn't expected to last as long as I did. And although for the most part I got destroyed at PvP, I had a lot of fun nonetheless. Thanks so much for watching everyone. This was my very first PC Rust video. So if you want to see me playing and editing more PC Rust in the future, make sure you let me know and drop me a sub so you don't miss out on my future struggles. Take it easy everyone. I'll see you next time. Suffering's a way to earn your keep.